Most of us use social media on a daily basis, whether to stay in touch with those who we care for or to stay updated on what's going on in this crazy world. But no one can deny the dark side of it. However, in this video, we are going to explore the bright side. So, here are three times where social media was used for heartwarming reasons. At number one, mother took to Facebook after nobody came to her autistic son's birthday party. In 2015, Glenn Berati, an autistic child from Florida, was very excited to celebrate his sixth birthday. His mother planned to throw him a birthday party and went on to invite all 16 of his classmates. But sadly, no one came. The boy was so devastated that he refused to smile and was trying to hide the fact that he was crying when he realized no one showed up. He kept asking his mom, when will my friends get here? That's when Glenn's mother turned to a local Facebook group where she wrote a post explaining her situation. The post went quickly viral and dozens of people began to knock on the door to join the party and celebrate little Glenn's birthday. The news reported that even the local police sent a helicopter over the house to say hello for his birthday. Over 15 children and 25 adults showed up that day carrying presents for the little boy. But wait for it, it didn't end there. The best part is that later that week, the sheriff's office and other first responders from the local fire department decided to surprise Glenn on his way home from school by showing up in a fleet of trucks to wish him a very happy birthday. Well, for little Glenn Berati, that was the best gift he could ever have gotten. A very special day that he will remember for the rest of his life. All that thanks to a very dedicated mother and a very responsive local community. At number 2, a young woman lost her 8 years old Jack Russell dog City at a supermarket and turned to Facebook to try to find it. Imagine you go to your local supermarket with your dog to do some groceries and you leave the dog tied up at the entrance as usual, but once you're done, the dog is nowhere to be seen. Well, it would pretty much freak out, but unfortunately, that's exactly what happened to a young French woman named Amandine at her local supermarket in Paris back in 2015. Since dogs are forbidden in food shops, she hanged Seti's leash at the entrance as usual, but a few minutes later, the little dog disappeared. The young woman acted immediately and requested from the store to watch the video surveillance tapes. To her surprise, she could see that Seti did not run away, but was instead stolen. The footage showed a lady alone, passing in front of the store, and she could be seen stopping by the door and acting awkwardly around the dog, and after a few seconds, she grabs the leash and leaves the store as quickly as she could. With her cell phone, Amandine recorded the video, which she quickly posted on a dedicated Facebook page she created. The video had been viewed for more than 400,000 times. Shortly after the news broke about the theft, the shop's owners of the area offered their help and random owners of Jack Russell and in other breeds promised in different parts of the capital to conduct their own investigations during their pet's daily walks. After all, the strange lady will not be able to leave the dog locked up forever. She will most likely take it out to do his business very soon, they all think. After three intense days, Amandine finally received the phone call she had been waiting for as she reported to Parisien.fr. She said a woman went to a police station saying she had found a dog in the street. The K9 Identification Center called me. It was City. When Amandine arrived, she recognized the woman from the videotape, but out of the joy of finding their dog and noticing a certain fragility in this woman, neither Amandine nor her partner bothered to ask any questions. She continued, Facebook didn't help me find my dog, but it was of great help in lifting my spirits. People have gone to check for false leads after logging in to the page, but local shop's owners and police officers also went to great lengths. She felt grateful and went on to write a post to thank all the wonderful souls that were immobilized and involved in this incredible search. Seti, Seti est retrouvé. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. And number three. A British couple took to social media, helping to track down a stranger lady who photographed the very magical moment of them getting engaged in the beautiful Iceland. On November 27, 2015, on a snowy Icelandic street, Michael Kent proposed to his girlfriend, Fiona Nulands. Luckily enough, that moment was captured and immortalized by a passing young lady when she snapped the perfect proposal picture with her camera. She then offered to send it to them, but after exchanging contact details with her, Michael started to have concerns that he might have given her the wrong email address. A few hours later that night, he realized the mistake he just made, but not willing to give up on the perfect picture, he rushed right back to the scene and took his own picture of the empty street and turned to social media to look for the stranger photographer. 85 shares and 200 likes later, Michael received no leads to where he could find the stranger. He then turned to Twitter where he shared his story with local Icelandic magazine, the Reykjavik Grapevine, to see if they could help identifying the stranger photographer. It turned out the stranger the couple had encountered was in fact Reykjavik-based photographer Jessica Bowie, who made a sensation when she shared that very picture on her Instagram page. I can't believe what happened, Ken wrote on Facebook later that night. The woman who took the picture of me proposing to Fiona in the street posted online after I put my email in wrong on the night. Through me posting on Twitter, we were reunited with the photo. I can't believe it. I love the internet.